I'm being joined by Pranav Anand, the one of the current joint leader in the MTO tournament, who has won the Beauty Awards. Pranav, huge congratulations Thank you. on playing such a beautiful game. Um, could you show us some critical moment from the game? Sure. Um, this is one of the positions uh, which I think was the main, one of the main moments of the game. And here I played the move hit six. And um, mainly it is played because I wanted, I was trying to look for ways to improve my position and it was not so clear for me. And I thought um, if I can get rid of the back rank weakness, so I went for that and he went queen c3, I went rook here. And queen c3 threatened to take queen e5 and um, rook e5, rook d8 and I thought the end game kind of holds. And so I went here, rook h5 and rook d6. Now I think this is one of the important moments and um, here the threat, there were many ideas for him. I think one of his ideas is to go knight d4 and uh, to try to get c5 and activate the knight, the knight c6 and followed by rook d8. And so I think c5 was a very important decision from my end. And um, I think this is one of the decisions I was quite happy about in combination with h6. And then I played a very important move, king h7 later in the game. I think that was um, also, I think, one of the main decisions. And the game progressed like this. Mm -hmm. It's king h7 here. The point was that I can go queen e6 and it's not a check anymore. And uh, he panicked. I think he was very low on the clock, so he went queen d2. And here I think I committed a small mistake. I took the pawn on c4. I had to wait for rook f5 and uh, that was um, much better according to the computer. But I took the pawn and I uh, created complications. He was very low on the clock. He had about a minute or a minute and a half, and uh, I think the my move worked out. But um, if he had gone for queen e3, then it would have been quite difficult for me to um, get anything big because I think it's now almost equal. And even during the game, I was really hoping that he doesn't go for queen e3 because it attacks the e4 pawn, prevents me from um, it hits c5, hits uh, e4 potentially, which means I can't push the pawn so easily. And uh, in, the front, in compared to the game, when you went queen e2, I had to, got this move rook d5. And compared here, like if you take with the knight on c5, the pawn, I go rook d2. And the queen gets attacked and the second rank I get control of. And um, I think this trick was very key. Uh, and after rook d5, again, I get my advantage. And here he blundered with f3, which was a huge blunder. And uh, I think I'm completely winning now. But he had no time. He had like 10 seconds or something, and he just quickly went f3. On my behalf, I slightly could have improved. I think c4 was winning. But I was very happy, and I saw this uh, sequence of bishop f5 take, bishop e4, and after take to take. And I saw this line, if you play a3, and I need to play this move queen a4. So knight is defended, and also there's no knight c5, because I can trade and take the piece. So this I saw, and after knight e4, I think uh, it was just over. I mean, he allowed check, and uh, the point is if you take, I take the queen, and uh, after this, it was just quite easy. It was just a um, pretty easy kind of conversion, and uh, I was very happy about uh, this game and uh, about winning this game because it was a very key round for me, and I think I took sole lead after this game, and um, I think I'm, quite pr I'm very proud of this game. There were many moments, like uh, for instance, which I mentioned with h6 and then king h7. King h7 was very prophylactic against rook d8 and, and these things. Also, h6 I felt was clearing the back rank again, prophylaxis again. So, I think my middle game handling I was very happy about. Pranav, thank you so much for this analysis of the game and uh, you're currently joint leader. Please tell us how is the tournament going so far for you? Yes, yeah, so the tournament is going well. Um, I think the first half I, I cannot. Um, I mean, complain that much. Um, I'm one of the leaders. Uh, although yesterday there's a lot of people that won from four points, so there are, there are a lot of people at five now. There's uh, my fellow Indian uh, Grandmaster Kartikeyan Murli, who I drew against. Yesterday was not much. My game was pretty uh, dry. I mean, he surprised me in the opening with this queen d7 and e5, which was quite interesting, and uh, I didn't get much out of the game, and I think it was a quick draw on my side because I, um, I mean, he went a5 on a forward draw and I felt like, okay, I mean, I was trying to see if I can push for the win, but there's not much and I decided to just make a draw. I'm one of the leaders and uh, I mean, I, I'm aware that it's a long event, so it's, I mean, four more rounds and four more fighting rounds and BL and anything would happen. I am although very confident that I can finish on a good note and I, I hope to do that. And it is not your first time in BL. Please share us your history. How many times have you been already to BL and how was it back then? Yes, so I think the 2022 edition was when I made a GM norm in BL. 
and uh, I think I, I had an insane even there. I mean, I, I just was, I mean, uh, I think leading at some point at, or one of the leaders, I was barely a grandmaster. I think I was about 24. 80 or 24, uh, 90, uh, around this range, if I remember correctly. This was before I became a Grandmaster in uh, uh, September 2022. I became a Grandmaster and BL was before this. So BL, I think I made my last norm. And then before that, I came very long back, like before the pandemic, I think it was, I believe, around 2018 or 2017, where I made my IM norm. And then in 2023, I won the BL Rapid. So BL has been a very special place for me overall. And uh, I hope to potentially even win the... MTO this time and um, play in challenges next year. Can we say that Bill is a lucky place for you getting so many norms and playing yeah. such a great chess? Yes, I think <laughs> Biel, Biel is one of the lucky places for me. There is also a strong Indian community every year coming together with your fellow countrymen. It's very nice to see you here. And uh, other than chess, what do you like in Biel? Is a special, for example, restaurant or food that you enjoy or a special place? Well, I think um, uh, in terms of, apart from chess, I like the whole uh, ambience of the place. And I think Swiss, you have this it's a very quiet place. And BL also, in, as a country and also as BL as in particular, I think it's very quiet and the people are very nice. And also it's very, it's cold, there's a river. There's a very beautiful uh, lake here, the BL Lake. And it's, I think it's very nice. And um, it's always a fun time to be back in BL and to play in the hall. Also, I love the hall. I think the hall is just one of the best halls I think I've played in. And, it's a lot of place to walk and you know there's a lot of seating area and it's, it's very nice. Final question to you. So you recently had a very successful tournament before coming to Veal. You mm -hmm. mentioned that you skipped the rapid because you were in a tournament. Yeah, yeah. I was in Benask <laughs> Open where I tied first. I think uh, that was my first uh, big win in terms of the big prize money events in, in Europe. And uh, I think it's a well-known event. It happened. It happened in Spain. Um, you know, like a valley area, it's, it's called Benask Open, and it's Benask is the city. And there I think I tied for first, and um, I finished third on book holes, which was slightly upsetting. I hoped to win the whole thing, but uh, I mean, uh, anyway, I think I had the uh, last uh, three wins in a row against... Um, the last round was very critical against my fellow uh, country mate and my friend uh, Leon Mendonca, who had a nice win in the last round against as, black, as playing black. So. I think that was very memorable. I also gained a few points. I gained 14, 14 ELO there, which was also very nice. So, nice. yes, BL this time I'm, I'm here and uh, I, we couldn't uh, jump to the rapid section because it's, it's a lot of travel from Spain to Swiss and, and, the, and the, from the trains to uh, taking the train from the main airport to BL here, I think. Um, so I couldn't make it to the BL rapid, but uh, yeah, I, am hoped, I hope to finish BL, the MTO on a high note. Yeah, sorry, and the final question, what are your plans after BIL? Do you already have a schedule for any tournaments or you return back to India? Yeah, so uh, right now I'm going back to India. Then I plan to play in Spanish League and uh, then mostly in Fujaira uh, Super Tournament, mm -hmm. potentially. And uh, as of now, that's that's the plan. And uh, I think the second uh, second half of the year, the calendar is not, not a lot of tournaments out yet. So I think for the moment, it's just uh, these two events are upcoming for me. But um, Regarding your question, I think I'll first return home, I'll work a little and uh, I'll try to improve my game, analyze my games and then come back even stronger in the next the next week. Oh, amazing. Thank you so much for now for your time. Best of luck for the rest of the build tournament. Thank you. Thank you.